I think we're on it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello folks, um, welcome to the first of the apple tasting videos for the 2021 to 2022 season. I'm sorry that uh, we couldn't film last year, but I'm sure you know why, it's Covid. But anyway, we're back mm -hmm. and we're all being well, fingers crossed. We shall be uh, doing the whole season yeah. again in, this year. In fact, even without COVID, we would, wouldn't have been able to do it because we had virtually no fruit last year. We had a very late frost in, in May. And even though we have hundreds of trees, you could have put the whole crop in about three buckets. It was amazing that the frost destroyed all of the blossom. Yeah. So, um, so we've got some... early apples here. Uh, early apples don't usually keep very well, but they test, uh, they taste fresh and pleasant, first of the season, and I've managed to find 10 varieties which are worth having a look at. I suspect some of them won't be quite ready, but uh, we shall see as we go through them. Hey are Nigel, do you want to take that a bit closer to the screen? Yeah, now this one is not usually ready at this time of year, it's called Bayer Marissa. And it's a red fleshed apple. You can see it's quite an attractive appearance. I tested it for ripeness just by lifting one or two of the fruit yesterday and it came off in my hand so I thought we might as well have a go. So first one. This may, may be a bit sharp if it's not quite ready. Oh we're getting some colour. Oh, look at that folks. Oh. oh, oh, goodness me, <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> it's just about reached full size, but it's not very nice at the moment. Oh, not ready. No. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Is that going to go in the bin, yeah? I think so, yeah. Okay. Now, that, that one, you could make cider out of it, but it's, it's too sharp to do much else with. I suppose you could cook it. <laughs> Now, do you want to explain our scoring system? Yes. Um, we each score out of five. Total score will be scored out of ten, add, adding the, the uh, scores between the two of us. Mm. Now, so, if we score five, that means it's absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with it mm. at all, and it's got superb taste, and it's to die for. Um, if it's n just not quite, you know, a five, then we we may give it a four and a half. A four is going to be um, pretty good, you know, very good, very tasty. It's something what we want to grow ourselves. Yeah, most supermarket you know, apples. in a garden are, and that. Yeah, yeah. at a supermarket, uh, we would rate a good supermarket apple as as a four. I think most of the time. Yeah, I see. I, I don't. I think maybe a supermarket one might be a bit less than a four. I think well, some yeah. of the ones what we do taste better than a supermarket. Yeah, okay. Um, then, you know, uh, we we may give it then a three, which means it's neither here nor there. You know, it's eatable, but it's nothing mm. special. Um, if it's a two, then it's going to be uh, not very good at all. And one, it's, it's yeah, just going to be in the un bin. Unpleasant, <laughs> yeah, really unpleasant. <laughs> So what are we going to give that that first one that's not ready? I think that. About a two? Yeah. I'll, I'll give it a two. Yeah, I'll give it a two. I mean, it didn't taste nice, but I could have ate it at a push. Yeah. We'll, we'll look, at, look at that variety again when it's properly ripe. There are lots on the tree. And this might be in the same category. This is uh, from East Germany, this apple. It's a Reunsdorfer. Again, it's a, a red-fleshed apple. You can see it's with a nice red skin. At its best, it tastes very, very good of peaches and all sorts of other things. It's a, a pink fleshed apple again. It felt a bit firm when I cut it. Oh, it's got some interesting flavours in it. It's quite sharp. A little bit like a, a little bit peachy. I wouldn't want to eat the whole thing though, would you? To me, 
It's not quite as bad as the first one, but it's not mm. far. It's not ready, it. is it? It's not, no. it's not, not ready, but it's... it's but not it's eatable. It. I mean, I'll yeah. finish this bit off. Yeah. Certainly no second helpings of that. No. If we have a second helping, then you know it's good. I'm, I'll give it a three, I think. Two and a half for me. Okay. But we will try those again in a while, in a week or two. Perhaps, Nigel, for those who have never watched our apple tasting, maybe you ought to just say about how the weather affects the apples year after year. Oh, um, yes. You know, because some people might be totally new to this. Yeah, um, well, if you, if you have uh, an ideal season for apples, uh, so you get them uh, a luscious taste and the best that that apple can provide, uh, you need plenty of sun, good light in the, uh, in the daytime, and a little bit of cool in, in the evenings. You need cool evenings for full development of the flavours. If you have a persistently hot day, and hot at night as well. This has the effect of uh, sort of evaporating out of the apple some of the flavour compounds. And so this is why in a hot country you tend to get apples that are rather bland. They don't have the full depth of flavour that you can get in England. And no year is quite like another year. So some years you find it's a superb apple year, other years you find that Varieties that should taste sweet, juicy and pleasant are just sad and rather sour. And that's one of the things, things that makes um, apple tasting so interesting. And if you look back over the last five years or six years of videos from the apple tasting, um, some of these varieties what we're having will have been done before, some will be new. Yeah. And uh, you'll see that the scoring's different year on year. Mm, that's, that's right. Uh, the next one we've got here is quite interesting because it's actually uh, from a pip of this one. This is Breunsdorfer. Uh, we took a pip from a Breunsdorfer apple. I'll show it a bit closer. Oh yeah, there we go. And you can see if I put them together that it's a lot lighter. So it looks like it's crossed with um, some sort of uh, white fleshed eating apple. It's taken away some of the colour and this one did feel when I took it off to be relatively ripe. So I think it's an earlier variety. It's seedling from, for us, seedling number 5215. How did you come up with that number? Nigel? Well the, the, the last two digits is the year in which the pollination took place, 2015. And the first two, uh, five two, it's seeding number fifty two yeah. from that year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. See what you think of that. Yeah. It's got quite a nice it's scent. Got a lovely smell. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see it's pink inside again. What's that one like? You've not spat it out, so it's, no. I assume it's not too bad. Mm, I like this one. Mm. Oh, it's juicy. I think I need another piece of this. Yeah, it, it's not quite ripe, not quite ready, but it's good. It's not a grub, is it, Nigel? No, it's a, it's a bit of bitter, uh, it's bitter pit. Don't cut it out. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> After what, Nigel? Well, you have been known to be given a, a bit with a grub in it, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that, it's good. I'm going to give that a four. I am as well. Mm, yeah, very pleasant. Mm. And it may get better. Yeah. It's just on the edge, isn't it? It's just yeah. got a little bit more, you can tell. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, next one is Prince Charles. This is a, a Leicestershire apple. It's usually a little bit later than this, but uh, again, it came off in my hand, so hopefully it should be ripe or almost ripe. Well, it feels fairly soft, I'm cutting it. This is an ordinary white fleshed apple, a Leicestershire variety. It comes from um, Herbert Robinson's nursery in Burbage in the 40s, I think. 1948 seems to ring a bell.
Mm. Still a bit firm, not totally right. A bit more? Yeah, I'll do, let me just try another little bit. It's, it's not that different to the previous one. Not quite as good, is no. it? I'll give this a three. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll give it a three. But it will get better. So we'll have a look at that again in a fortnight. Now, or for so. those of you who have not watched our apple tasting again, we tend to have a pretty. Um, our taste is generally quite the same. But occasionally we will be at both at opposite scales. I will not be able to eat it and Nigel will love it. Yeah, there are certain flavours that I can taste and Julie can't and, and, um, and the reverse as well. Certain sorts of bitterness uh, I can't taste but uh, Julie can and that makes a big difference. Right, uh, next one is Leicestershire Sweetings. Now, this this is um, a really early apple, and I picked several there. And I hey, put... do we have to tie each no, of them? No, you don't. But we're, we're going to have to try at least two. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's because good. What, you see, what I've done, the ones I've picked about an hour ago are on the right. Okay. And the ones that have been picked a couple of days are on the left. Okay. And I just that wanted to needs. show them that one with the there red. There we are. That's the red. That's coloured up the a red, bit, look. Yeah. They don't get any bigger than this. They're just a little bit bigger than a golf ball. But sweetings, it's not a very and common variety And just for those, if days. you're wondering, Nigel hasn't got big hands, so it just yeah. shows you how small the apples are. Yeah. This is about golf ball size. Yeah. So this one, it's sweetings, and it's a couple of days old. And it's quite soft. So if you've got false teeth, quite a good apple for you. Very soft. Yeah, no texture really. It is, it is very soft. I don't know about it. I don't think it's got a taste, does it? Not very much, no. It makes brilliant jam that tastes just like honey. Well, I can't, okay. I can't, I can't, there's no... Um... Not a lot of flavour there, no. is there? It's very bland. Yeah. Now let's try a, a, right, um, a fresher one. So this was picked about an hour ago. Now that tastes, to me, that tastes a lot fresher. Mm, there's no difference to me. The only difference is that the skin is slightly harder. Yeah. And the texture, what do you went into the texture of the, the fruit? Is that still it's very the same, soft? Yeah. Not as soft as the, the previous. Mm. So you can see it softens over a, about a two day period. A bit more. Yeah, all right. Then. It's very eatable, juicy, sweet, not a lot of flavour. I think it'd be all right in a. Um, one of those um, fruit medley things. Or fruit it? salad, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's sweetings. And as I say, brilliant for making jam. The next one is quite a similar apple uh, called Sweet 16. It's almost the same size as you can see, but I've been told by somebody in the know that Sweet 16 does actually get bigger, but my tree of Sweet 16 is, is tiny at the moment. This was going to be a question I was just going to ask, is do you think the season has played a part with the apples being smallish, or is it because of the early variety? I think that the season has had an effect, because I've noticed a number of our apples are a bit smaller than normal at the moment. Same with my Lord Lambourne. Yeah, they were a bit, a bit shrunken, were they? Yeah. They were a bit yeah. small. Yeah. Now, I'd be interested to sit here what you say about this. Quite a firm skin, a bit crispy. Um, the, in, the apple, not so crispy. Um, no, it doesn't really taste, I mean, there's not got any flavour. Well, I reckon it's similar to this one. Yeah. It's very, very little flavour. It is, I agree. 
and I suspect that they might be related because you can see the size is yeah. similar, the colour is similar. The only difference is that these are a little bit redder. Mm, and I think possibly the shape's slightly different as well. Yeah, they're not the same variety, clearly, no. but, but I think they're related. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar. Right. Can we rate both of those, then? What would you give sweetings for the uh, your flavour? I think I'll just give it a three. Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree with that. It's frequently the earliest apple that we have that's ready. Uh, one year it was ready on July the 12th, which is very, very early. Uh, we're currently on the 10th of August, which is almost a month later. Uh, what about Sweet 16? The same. Okay, yeah, I would agree with that. They're very similar indeed for flavour. Our next early apple is one with a very odd name, Norfolk Rattlebox. Any idea why it might be called that? I have no okay. idea, no. Well apparently when it's fully ripe yeah. and you shake it, you can hear the pips rattling. Oh right. I've never witnessed that. <laughs> <laughs> because I think these are ripe and the pips are definitely not rattling. But anyway, let's see what it's like. And folks, if the apple's ripe, it's going to have brown pips. Yeah. If yeah. it's white, you know it's not ready. Yeah, with sweetings, you have to eat it before the pips change, change brown, because otherwise it's very even blander. That's got some flavour. Mm. Yeah. Very soft. Mmm, I like that. Another piece, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That is good. This is the first um, proper crop we've had from Norfolk Rattlebox. It's an early apple, so it obviously doesn't keep. I suspect if you left this for a week, you wouldn't want to eat either of them. I'm going to give that a three and a half. That's yeah. It's it's got good. a got a nice sort of tang to it, doesn't it? Mm. A little bit like a citrus fruit. Uh, so three and a half. Yeah. I'm going to give it a four. So that gives us a seven and a half there. Um, our next one is Beauty of Bath. There we go. Quite a nice shape. You see the red button, Nigel? That means we're recording. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Using a new camera, folks, so um, we're hoping everything's turning out okay. Yeah, yeah, we're at a slightly different camera angle, but we're hoping it's okay for you. There's a nice scent to it. Now, mm. I don't recognise that name, Nigel. Beauty of Bath? No. We've never tasted it before. Mm. But, the apple does taste similar to something I've tasted before. Mm. It's slightly tart. The skin seems to be slightly tart. Uh, it's, it's pretty sweet, quite firm. Is it a different fruit you're thinking of? No, or, it's a different apple. apple. Another yeah. apple. Yeah. I wonder which one. Well, there are so many that we've mm. tried, aren't there? I know. Yeah. So definitely we've tried some similar. Perhaps it'll come to us later. Yeah. Okay, um, but not a bad flavour for me. I think I'm going to give that... Um, three and a half for me. Yeah, I was, I was just going to say that. Three and a half for me, three and a half for Julie. I would say I'd rather have that than a supermarket apple. Mm, depends on the apple. Well, the it did, yeah. Some are horrible, some are... Yeah, but it's uh, quite... Hi, folks. What was that? Breaking news. Uh, right. <laughs> I haven't got my watch on, so I can't tell you what it is. Right, next one is Discovery. 
There we go. That, that should be familiar to you, I think. Discovery. Available in some supermarkets. I think Waitrose sell them. So the best way of sampling this is from a, direct from the tree. These were picked about two hours ago. Is it ready? Mmm, that's good. You've got a nice characteristic shape. It's not a di difficult um, apple to identify. There's frequently a little bit of pink under the skin round here. In some years it's quite pronounced. Well, I think that's at least a four for me. Yeah, I'll give it a four. Yeah, quite firm, good flavour. And um, our final one today is Rosette. Rosette is related to, this, to Discovery. It's actually a Discovery Sport. So if you do a DNA fingerprint of it, it appears to be the same as Discovery. But it ripens a little bit earlier. And you can see it's red inside. Or pink inside. Flavour quite similar to Discovery usually. Yeah, that's pretty good again, isn't it? I, I would rate this a bit better than that one, I think. I'm going to rate it at four and a half. It's not quite five, but it's yeah. nearly. Yeah, that's very I'll, nice. I need another piece of that okay. just to confirm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's not quite a five, I agree. So, four and a half for me. We're in almost perfect agreement today. Mm. So, that's a nine. Now I'm ready for my cup of tea. I did put two more possibles here, but on going to the trees I found they weren't ready. And they were Devonshire Quarrenden and Hall's Pink. Now, where's my notice board? Here we are. Nigel's still got the ones from 2000. Yeah, yeah I'm going to show you. 2019, yeah. Yeah, I'll show them in a minute, but uh, for comparison. Let's just see, there we are. So those are the scores. Anything else you want to say about those, Julie? No, I think it's, as we've said in previous videos, the first ones aren't uh, always the tastiest. No, the, I think the, the flavours get more concentrated as you go... So what do you, would you say these are the generally season. for cooking? For cooking? Um, well, the general rule is the more acidic an apple is, the, the better it is for cooking. So I... I think probably those two would cook pretty well. The Bruinsdorfer and the Unripe Bay Marissa, they'd cook pretty well at the moment. But when they ripen up, they wouldn't break down as well because it's the acid in the apple that makes uh, the uh, causes the breakdown of the fruit when it gets hot. If you cook uh, an apple that hasn't got any acid or very little acid, it tends to retain its structure. Uh, for interest, you might be well, you, you might like to see this. This is our tasting from two years ago. And you can see, I'll have to get up to comment on it so I can see it. You can see Devonshire Quarrenden was actually ripe at this time two years ago. And Hall's Pink was, was ripe as well. But the order of ripeness does vary a little as we go from one year to the next. I think that's all I've got to say at the moment. Okay, now. Yeah. We well, hope to see you fairly soon again with another dozen or so. Uh, the early mid-season apples is what we should call the next lot.
So probably in a fortnight. And we can usually continue to about February, don't we? Yeah, sometimes even later. Yeah. But we've got lots of fruit on lots of the trees this year, so we should have the option of doing quite a few tastings. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, folks. Thanks. Bye.